Welcome to Nicaragua. We are here today with a gentle and peaceful yin yoga practice. This yin yoga class is perfect for anyone that is completely new to yoga or if you're simply looking for a gentle and slow paced practice that will allow you to get deeper into your inner state of being. This yoga class is also part of our free 7 day yin yoga exploration that allows you to increase your flexibility and release tension through various different yin yoga practices done over the course of 7 days. To join, simply click the link in the description of this video to download the schedule. With that said, if you're ready to begin, find a quiet space, turn off all of your distractions, and let's begin. All right, friends, let's get started today seated at the top of your mat. Take this opportunity now and just take your hands by the side of your body, opening the chest and the heart. Take a deep breath in and exhale, just let it go. Just find this grounding, this centering within your body. And then from here, slowly begin to round the spine all the way down, one vertebra at a time. Once your back is on the floor, bring both knees into your chest and just hug yourself. Pulling the knees in and then extending your right leg all the way down towards the floor. Pull the left knee into your chest and simply hold it here. Breathe. Take another deep breath in. And then once you're ready, what you're gonna do is take that left knee across the body, so push it all the way down to the right. Extend your left arm all the way out to the side and come into this deep spinal twist. And what you wanna do here is just close the eyes and begin to bring as much oxygen into your spine as possible, into your back. Breathing and not worrying if that knee touches the floor, it doesn't matter. All we're trying to achieve here is a deeper twisting sensation in the back. So releasing any tension out of the lower back. Gently lubricating the joints of your spine and the vertebras. And then at the same time, as you keep that left arm extended, you're also feeling a gentle stretch through the left shoulder. And it's important that as we come into this yin posture that you close your eyes and just begin to really become aware of how your body is responding. With each exhalation, letting go of anything that no longer serves you whether that is negative thought patterns, worry, stress, whatever it is, just leave it behind for a moment and allow yourself to truly find this peaceful presence within yourself. Taking a deep breath in into the nose and then as you exhale, surrendering into this posture deeper and deeper. You'll notice the longer you hold this position, the more your body will slowly begin to release. So with time, you can add a little bit more pressure onto that knee to go a little bit deeper into that spinal twist. Simply find your breath. Inhale and exhale, let it go. If you spend a lot of time in a seated position, whether that is at work, driving your car, or whatever it may be, this particular deep twisting posture is so good for your spine, for your back, just for your overall well-being. Welcoming more oxygen and more blood flow into that spinal cord. Deep breath in. Now as you exhale, let's slowly release. So come back into center, pulling that left knee back into the chest and then release it all the way down. And let's switch sides. So now the right knee comes into the chest. Pull it as far as you can. 
keeping that left leg straight on the floor. Take a deep breath in. And then whenever you're ready, on your exhalation, you're going to use your left hand and push that right knee across the body. And then your right arm is going to extend all the way out to the side. So coming back into our spinal twist on the opposite side now. And again, don't worry about having your right knee touch the floor. If it's going there, that's great. But if you're really feeling a lot of resistance here in your back, don't force anything. Simply keep that left hand pressing down. Your right arm is extended, so you are feeling a nice opening through the chest. Close your eyes and again, just bring your awareness internally. Begin to really pay attention to any sensations within your body. Notice where there's restriction. Notice where there's a lot of give. And wherever you find those points of tension restrictions, bring more oxygen into those specific areas in your body with your breath. So inhaling deeply and then exhale, slowly allowing your body to surrender, let go. And being patient, being gentle with yourself. In yin yoga, we never want to force anything. We simply want to come into a position and then allow the force of gravity to slowly release your body deeper into that posture. So stay in this deep spinal twist and simply focus on the inhalation and the exhalation. This particular posture is also incredible for your digestive organs, stimulating the detoxification of your body. So keep breathing. Keep letting go with each exhalation and focusing on allowing your body to slowly melt and release into this posture. With time, you are going to start to feel certain areas where you do feel that tension begin to release. And that's the beautiful thing about yin yoga. It gives our connective tissues, the myofascia, time to slowly give in and release. So this practice is all about patience and peace within yourself. Beautiful. Now slowly take your last inhale. On your exhale, bring your knee back to your center. Pull it in towards the chest and then slowly extend and release all the way down. Go ahead and flex your feet and let's reach both arms over your head. On your next exhalation, you're going to use a little bit of that force in the arms and press them down as you roll yourself all the way up into seated position. Feel free to scoop back a little bit so you have lots of space in front of your mat. And then take your arms up to the sky. Feel free to bend your knees if you're feeling any tightness in the hamstrings and then begin to come into your seated head to toe forward fold. So grabbing onto the heels and then beginning to release your chest over top of your thighs. If you feel like you can go further, then slowly begin to extend both knees as far as you can until you come into that full extension and then continuing to reach forward with your hands. So you can either grab your heels or reach forward and interlace your fingers over top of your feet. And go ahead and just rest your forehead either on your knees or again, if you have your knees bent and you are feeling a little bit more restriction in the hamstrings, you can also use a prop. So what you can do is actually take a pillow if you have one around you and place the pillow on top of your thighs and then allow yourself to relax over top of the pillow. We are staying in this posture for an extended period of time. So we wanna make sure that we are finding some sort of comfort here. And as we find that comfort, then the body is able to relax. And once the body is coming into more of a relaxed state, this is when the muscles begin to release and then allowing us to go a little bit deeper into the posture, which in time increases our flexibility and mobility of the joints. So stay here. Keep your eyes closed. 
and find this meditative state, simply focusing on the inhalation and exhalation of air in and out of your body, noticing any thoughts coming into your mind. And once you find that awareness, let those thoughts go, being the watcher of your mind rather than a participant. Beautiful, now let's slowly release, bringing yourself up to a straight back. And then release the arms next to the side of your body. Go ahead and this time bend both knees and bring the soles of your feet together, allowing your knees to fall away from you. Now, what we're gonna do here is not keep the heels too close to the hips, but you actually wanna create more of a diamond shape with your legs. And then from here, begin to simply release your body forward, holding onto your ankles with your hands. Now, if you find that you wanna go even deeper, you can always release your elbows onto the floor. Otherwise, continue to hold on to those ankles. What we're doing here is really focusing on the chest and the belly to come closer towards the mat. So going deeper into the hips now, releasing any tension, any soreness, any energy that may be blocked within that specific area of the body. Once you've found that position, just breathe into it. Let it all go. Finding this presence within you. Letting go of your day, of your week, of your month. Letting go of any responsibilities, projects, to-do lists you may have on your mind. And simply finding this beautiful, loving energy that is within you, connecting with that energy. With each exhalation, simply allowing yourself to surrender into that energy, into this posture. This is your moment right now to completely release and relax your body and your mind you deserve to disconnect yourself just for this moment right now and reconnect yourself with all that you are, all that you are within, not externally. With each exhalation, reminding yourself of the beautiful things you may be grateful for in your life, no matter how big or small. Grateful for this body that you have, for this beautiful life that you have for this opportunity to find this time in your day for yourself. Stay here and continue to deeply breathe in and exhale out softly out of your nose or mouth, whatever feels best. Notice how your body is beginning to respond to this position. With each exhalation, feeling the chest and the belly Come closer towards the mat. Whenever you are ready now, we're going to release. So simply come on up to your hands, walk your hands behind your back, and then slowly bring your knees together. And then from here, go ahead and transition your body weight over to your hands and knees, and then walk your knees a little bit further back on your mat. Let's start with the right knee. What we're gonna do is take your right knee and bring it over towards your right thumb and then begin to slowly walk your knee forward and then walk your left knee slightly over to the left side of your mat. Then drop your weight over to the right glute and then begin to walk your hands forward over to the elbows or perhaps all the way down with your chest to the floor. So this is a wonderful variation of your pigeon pose. If you are not feeling any sort of release in your glute, or maybe your glutes are quite flexible, then you're more than welcome to slowly reposition yourself into a full pigeon by lifting your hips and then walking your left leg all the way back. However, for anyone that struggles with tighter glute muscles, this is a wonderful variation. So go ahead and come into that position. I will be doing the variation pose. So in the variation, the back knee is bent at about 90 degrees, and then the right leg is just bent at whatever comfortable angle. So perhaps you wanna keep the heel closer towards your hip or start to walk the heel a little bit further away from your body. 
what we're doing here again is just finding that angle where you truly feel that deeper release in your glute muscle, in your piriformis. And everybody is tight at different areas. So again, these postures are so personal. You have to really play with it and slightly move your body, maybe a little bit to the left or to the right to really find that particular area, that particular version of this posture that truly hits the right spots for you. So take your time, feel free to move a little bit if you need to, but then once you've found a good position, just hold and breathe. So whether you are in your variation of this pigeon or in a full pigeon, allow yourself to surrender to the mat. Breathing into any areas of tightness that you feel along your lower body. With each exhalation, visualizing your body letting go of this tension, becoming heavier, melting into the mat, into the ground. So just keep breathing, letting yourself release deeper and deeper. Filling your lungs with oxygen and then directing that oxygen into any tension within your body. And then with your exhalation, see it, feel it, visualize that tension melting away. All right, now slowly we're going to start by lifting the head up and then walking your hands back, lift your body. And then from here, simply bring your knees together at the back of your mat. Tuck your toes under, see if you can lift your knees off the floor in like a plank-like position and then bring your left knee to your left thumb. So this is a good way to get into your pigeon pose. However, if you wanna do that variation, you're going to bend that back knee at about 90 degrees, so both knees are bent. And then slowly from here, start to move yourself forward with your elbows on the mat. So when you are in this variation of pigeon, all of your weight is actually on the left glute, so on your left sit bone. If you're in a full pigeon, your weight is equal, so your hips are more square towards the front of your mat. So once you've found that spot that feels best for you, feel free to stay in your elbows or come all the way down with your chest to the floor and simply find your breath. Find that movement of prana through you. Feel that energy moving through your body. As you exhale, all that tension, all that unwanted negativity, whatever is holding you back in your life, in your journey, whatever it is, visualize it, releasing out of you, evaporating, melting away with each exhalation. And as you take that inhale, Visualize and see beautiful radiant energy coming into your body, helping you release that tension out of your muscles, out of your joints. Just stay focused with the simple motion, inhale and exhale. Beautiful, let's take another deep breath in into the nose. And exhale out, begin to notice how your body started to let go a little bit deeper towards the ground, how your muscles began to release. And then whenever you're ready, we are slowly going to release out of this posture by first lifting the head and then the body, and then walking your hands closer towards your legs 
and then lifting that back knee off the floor, whatever way is most easiest for you to come back towards the back of your mat. And then go ahead and sit yourself down into your child's pose. Feet and knees together, your forehead comes down onto the mat and rest your arms along the side of your body. So very gentle rounding of the spine. Feel free to close your eyes and again, just focusing on the movement of your breath in and out of your body. Finding that centering feeling within you, that presence, that love, that light, that energy that fills your entire body with love and peace. Take a deep breath in and exhale, just let everything go. Feeling yourself nurtured and supported by your own weight of your body. Feeling yourself strong, protected, and guided upon your path. Feeling that gentle pressure of your forehead against the mat. Feel free to gently rock your head side to side or that feels good to massage your forehead. Make sure your entire body is rested over top of your knees. Just simply give yourself permission to surrender, to let go, to be still. Without any worry, being anywhere but here. Pay attention to the sensations within your body. Notice the temperature of air that comes into your body and the temperature it is when it comes out. Feeling that coolness and the warmth each time you inhale and exhale. Now from here, let's slowly place both of our hands to the lower back. So bending your elbows and placing the hands palms on the back and start to gently just rub it up and down a couple times giving that lower back a little bit of love and then slowly come up to seated position once you're up go ahead and just transition yourself over to the front of your mat whichever way feels best and once you're back down on your mat you're going to come all the way down with your back resting your head on the floor bending both knees and placing the soles of your feet together Allow your knees to open out to the side. Close your eyes in this reclined butterfly pose or Supta Baddha Konasana. Feeling this gentle release through the hips as you take one more breath. And then as you exhale, whenever you're ready, slowly extending both legs all the way out into our final posture of our practice, our Shavasana. Allowing the palms of your hands to slowly open up towards the sky keeping your eyes closed. At this time, let your body know that we are ready to go into even more of a relaxed state of being. Slowly begin to decrease the rate of your breath. Very gentle and long inhalation. And a slow and soft exhalation as you surrender to the floor, letting go of your entire body to Mother Earth, keeping your eyes closed, relax your face, allow your eyes to feel heavy, relax your forehead, your jaw, allow your shoulders to open and release into the floor no longer holding any tension within them. Notice the heart beating in your chest. Listen to the beautiful vibrations of each beat of your heart. Feeling your lungs moving up and down 
welcoming more and more oxygen into the body. Relax the glutes. Relax your thighs, your calves. Allow your heels to be extremely heavy on the floor. Allow your elbows, your wrists, your hands to be heavy by your side. Complete and full relaxation of your entire physical body. Find that meditative state here. Remember to be the watcher of your thoughts. Don't identify yourself with any ideas or thought patterns that may come into your mind at this moment. Simply focus on your breath and allow yourself to truly enjoy this present moment of what you are experiencing right now. Now, if you're finding yourself melting further and further and you'd like to stay here much longer, you're more than welcome to just continue to stay in your Shavasana. However, if you'd like to finish our practice together, then go ahead and start to move your body, your fingers and toes, and then bending the knees in whatever way is most comfortable, coming onto your fetal position and then up to your seated position whenever you're ready along the center of your mat. Once you come into your seated position, make sure your feet are crossed in front of you. Go ahead and simply rest your hands on the knees, closing your eyes and just taking one more breath to let yourself go and find that center. Taking a deep breath in and exhale, feeling that beautiful energy running through the base of your spine all the way up to the crown of your head. Let's slowly bring the palms of our hands together and bowing down towards your heart, thanking yourself for your beautiful practice and for taking this opportunity right now to do something gentle, peaceful, and loving for your body, for your mind, and for the beautiful energy within you. Thank you so much for joining us today in Nicaragua. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Namaste. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to click that subscribe button for more yoga content like this. Thank you again, and we'll see you soon.